the daily gratitude journal for June 11th and 12th. And 12th is today of 2024. <sighs> Two long, uh, intense and very fruitful days. Why, you may ask? Well, um, I'm working on changing my um, sleeping habit. Um, I do not manage to go to sleep that much earlier yet, although I do manage to get up early. I mean, like two or three hours earlier than, than I used to. And this resulted in uh, less sleep, of course but also resolved in being really productive. Like yesterday we had a delivery from the, from, um, from a company that was uh, delivering a lot of food. Um, how do you call these companies? Keep forgetting the name of the companies. It's the company that delivers to, to the smaller stores. So they had the overflow and they delivered it to the food bank. So we had to unload all of that. And then we had to also start uh, distributing. Then I had um, my first trial for a, a new product that I'm launching. The product I already mentioned, which is the preliminary business efficiency assessment. And the police is busy in the city. And so I did uh, the first trial and was uh, really great. It was very interesting. I learned a lot. I got very good feedback from the entrepreneur with whom I did it. And so I made some notes and I'm getting quite close to launching it because today I did the second trial with a slightly different version. And it was also really interesting. I got some nice feedback as well. And yeah, both, both sessions were really, really good. Both entrepreneurs got good insights. Um, they saw where they can uh, start to work on uh, changes. Um, the idea is that I do not really give solutions, but I help them realize in this assessment uh, where they can implement changes or what changes, changes are actually needed to adapt to the current energy or to the current market place. And so this was, uh, was really good. I also had a few good conversations with uh, some other people regarding personal development, regarding entrepreneurship as well. Um, I had a lot of physical exercise. I did gain some weight since last week and I lost it all. So two and a half kilos, which is technically five pounds gone since today. And the trick was, um, more raw food and also watermelon. Watermelon fills you up, has a lot of water, but it has a lot of fibers and there are enzymes and things in that, that really help to cleanse. So it's, perfect tool to, to cleanse yourself. And yeah, basically that's it in a nutshell, but it really felt good. I, um, I started tired this morning because again, I didn't sleep enough, but once I got going, Energy went like this and you can see me now it's evening. It's uh, 10 o'clock in the evening and I'm uh, recording this video. And after this one, I will record the next video, which is for my patrons. And it's the video about riding the wave. So the energy at play from uh, tomorrow and then for the next uh, five, six days. I need to check the dates actually. So yeah, actually I can see it here. I think, hold on. Maybe I see it here. So yeah, from 13th to 18th. And for those who love the Jinkies, it's Jinky 12. It has partner Jinky 11. So I will be recording that video after this one. And then of course I have to edit both of them and then upload them. Um, 
at least the second video needs to be uploaded before one o'clock because I also have clients in Australia. So yeah, still some work to do, but it's fun. Um, it's light editing. I don't need to really do too much. So it's basically my computer doing all the work. So yeah, I feel good. Oh, oh, oh. and if you follow me on Facebook, you may have seen the post. And yesterday while doing an exercise, um, I had to set seven goals and at the end I was asked to put a color on each of the goals and just feel intuitively with which color would go on which goals. And the trainer was mentioning the color and then you had to put it. And then I realized at a certain moment like, hey, these are the seven chakras. It was funny because five out of seven made total sense why they were linked to the chakra. The two other, not so much, but... Yeah, the guy himself apparently was not aware that these were the seven chakra colors. And so I guess with my comment, I actually put some people to think. But then while putting these colors, and it was just like putting a dot next to each comment, I had these color pencils in my hand and I was like, I started to feel some itching, some twitching. And so I knew that I had to grab a piece of paper and make a drawing. And so my hands started to make these movements and then like this and then like that. And this is the end result. And it was purely intuitive. I started with the light blue one and then after that, the yellow. Then came the pink one. Uh, after that, the orange one. Then came the purple one. Then the green, and in the end, the red one. And it was just how I felt that how intense the colors had to be. And you see in the green and the red one, I played a little bit with intensity. Also the purple one, if you pay attention and you see where it intersects with the orange one. You can see, oh, sorry, I'm trying to keep it sharp. Yep, it's focused in. You see there's like a little effect. So, yeah. The funny thing is, the last time I made a drawing that was in December 2018. And as far as I can remember the last time before that, that I made a real drawing was in 93, 94. No, actually 93, not 94. Okay, maybe early 94 but hmm, yeah maybe early 94 so this is an interesting development because I felt the itching already earlier and but it never really came so I have been mainly uh, being creative uh, in Canva canva.com Canva without S and um, yeah, that's where I've been playing with colors, with, with shapes, with draw, not really drawings, but I would combine things. But this is the first really handmade intuitive drawing. So I'm curious if there will be more coming. If so, I'll share it with you. So this concludes the video for today. This was about yesterday and today. Now I'm going to record the energy at play for the 13th to the 18th. So if you're curious about that, just head to my Patreon. It's very affordable. Um, you have all the clarity there. There is a link in the description. And have a look. And this, this will help you to actually ride the wave of your life. Ride the wave in the coming six days. You can just try it out for a month. Just see. Or half a month, because you're already on the 12th. Just experience it and Feel free to share with me how it feels. And I believe that you can actually find one of these videos. I made it public on my YouTube channel. You just go to my YouTube channel and then you have the search bar in my, within my channel. And you can type energy at play. And then you should find it. And then you'll see how such a video works. Maybe you can remember that specific period, how it was for you. Maybe not. 
but uh, yeah so have a look and see you tomorrow or the day after have a wonderful day or evening like subscribe and share